Well, after planning, fundraising, and campaigning for months and months, 75 brand new members of Congress have begun their first terms. And if the start of the year and all that chaos surrounding the House Speaker vote was any indication, they may be in for a pretty bumpy ride. Freshman class of the 118th Congress has already made history on a number of fronts. They hail from more than 30 states. They represent every economic background and are the youngest class in recent history. And we're going to get to know some of those new freshman members in co of Congress, including Democratic Congressman Nikki Budzinski, who now represents Illinois' 13th Congressional District. Congresswoman, welcome. Thank you, Kira. It's great to be with you. Great to have you. Well, we just heard President Biden announce the delivery of the top of the line tanks to Ukraine. Some of your Republican colleagues have said that they won't support a blank check for Ukraine. But what about you? Do you support this move? And will you vote for more aid when it comes to supporting Ukraine? Look, I think we need to be standing with the Ukrainians. We need to stand up to Putin. Um, you know, I, I think we should be giving a lot of credit to the Ukrainian people who are really the underdog from the very beginning. They've stayed very strong. We provided some support, I think critical support so that they can defend themselves. We need to be standing up to Putin. This is a longer term threat that is not going away. Um, and so I look forward to working with my colleagues. As a new member, um, I will now be able to to be, um, you know, receive classified briefings, which I, which I have not yet received, but look forward to receiving so I can track the progress um, that we're making in Ukraine. Well, clearly we'll pull you in for another interview then as it develops. You've also been very open about guns and criminal justice reform as one of your top issues. After the tragic shooting in Monterey Park, California, you did tweet out on social that we must work to prevent senseless violence like this in our country. We do have that yeah. tweet, but while we talk about what you put out there, and, and a lot of members of Congress have said that. I'd like to know what work speaks specifically you are doing mm -hmm. right now. Well, I think, Kira, we have a gun violence epidemic in this country, and I represent uh, communities that are in central and southern Illinois, smaller, more mid-sized communities, and we are not immune uh, to the effects of this gun violence epidemic. I think, you know, some of what happened in the last Congress, taking some really important first steps around expanding red flag laws, um, universal background checks, I think is a step in the right direction. Uh, we need to be tackling illegal guns on our street. We need to be making sure that um, the proliferation of weapons, that we're slowing that proliferation while still respecting the Second Amendment. Um, but I think we also need to be looking at things like mental health and not just paying lip service to investing in a real mental health crisis that we have that I hear about um, not only from teachers and students and parents. Um, this is a mental health is an issue that we're struggling with throughout my district. Um, and I would also say creating real economic opportunity as well. I think we need a multi pronged approach to addressing gun violence in this epidemic in this country. I want to be a part of, of finding those solutions. So, so get specific with us. You mentioned, you know, your home state of Illinois. Uh, it's also where I was born, uh, faces an epidemic yes. of gun violence. You know, there's a lot of, lot of hunters in Illinois. I remember that, you know, growing up. Um, and, mm. and it's, it's um, you know, there's parts that are, are, are really rough, as you well know. So when you mm. talk about mental health and you do talk about mm. gun laws and trying, and that you're struggling um, with both the issues of these this concerns about mass shootings and, and what we're seeing around the country, what is it that's that you're doing now or is on your priority list that you are going to move forward and push for as you hope the next mass shooting isn't seen in your home state? Yeah, well, I have the opportunity to participate in some town halls, one in particular in Decatur uh, that I represent, and to hear bringing community together to finding local grassroots solutions to addressing gun violence. You know, I did say during my campaign, I think that, you know, I can't support military style weapons on our streets. I think that is a part of the problem. But I also think that we need to respect Second Amendment rights as well and lawful gun owners being able to have, have a gun if they choose 
choose to do so while following the right, um, you know, proper procedures that we have in the state of Illinois and at the federal level. Um, and mental health, you know, one of the issues that I think rural communities in particular really struggle with is access to health care and access to mental health specialists. So one of the things that I've had the opportunity previously to work on is expanding broadband. When we expand broadband, that means we're able to expand telehealth. Telehealth services provide to rural communities more access to mental health specialists. So I want to be tackling real practical, finding really practical solutions um, to getting at these issues around gun violence. Um, and I look forward to being a part of a hopefully a bipartisan and a collaborative work uh, to do this in Congress. Finally, I've got to ask you before we go, besides the surprise of what happened uh, regarding the speaker vote <laughs> that held things up for you, any other surprises that sort of been eye-opening for you? I, you know, I've I've spent a lot of time trying to build relationships since I've been here. I've only been here for three weeks, um, but meeting a lot of new members on both the Republican and the Democratic side of the aisle. When I got elected in November, I really think the voters of the 13th district said, we want to send you to Congress to be a part of finding solutions, not more political noise. And so I've been actually kind of heartened by some of the new colleagues that I have, and they share a lot of that same interest. So I I'm looking to really build the relationships to get the work done that's going to deliver real results for people in central and southern Illinois, um, central Illinois communities like you know, Kira. Well, keep that freshman fire. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Nikki Bazinski, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.